Hi there and welcome. My name is Dave Glover and I'm a cloud developer advocate based in Sydney, Australia, with a focus on secure IoT and AI. Now this demo is going to be all about using machine learning models for predictive maintenance running on Azure Sphere. Now all of the source code is available on my GitHub at the link below. And the developer board that I'm going to be using is the Avnet Azure Sphere Starter Kit. Now the advantage of this board is it uses that it has a, a built-in accelerometer. And that accelerometer is very useful for driving data uh, for the machine learning model that I'm going to be using. Now, in my demo, I'm using a tiny ML model built with Edge Impulse. Now, the Edge Impulse web portal makes it super easy to go and create tiny ML models that target microcontrollers, including Azure Sphere. So in the screenshot, you can see I've got the new project wizard that focuses on common scenarios. So for example, here, um, I could go and create a model uh, based on accelerometer data um, that I could use for um, predicting machine failures or detecting human gestures. And um, there's another, another wizard there for audio, uh, training up audio models uh, for things like wake up words. Um, as well as being able to go and train uh, models for image classification and object detection. Okay, so this demo focuses on predictive maintenance for HVAC systems. So first I want to talk about the Azure Sphere. So the Azure Sphere is a multi-core microcontroller that you can deploy custom apps onto three cores. So we've got what's called the Cortex-A7. And the Cortex-A7 runs system services, such as security services and over-the-air updates, as well as being able to deploy a custom high-level application that you would write. Now, there are also two real-time cores, which are called Cortex-M4s. And you can run uh, custom applications on those. So on the first core here, I'm, running, I'm going to be running the Edge Impulse Tiny machine learning um, live model for movement classification, which I'm going to use for predictive maintenance. Now, I could also run another application on the other Cortex-M4, and that could also be another tiny ML model. In this case, the example I've got here is hazardous fumes classification for a work safety uh, solution. Now, on the cloud side, I'm going to be um, sending um, model predictions through to a solution called Azure IoT Central. And Azure IoT Central is an IoT web portal uh, where you can chart data and, and um, define templates and forms and things like that, as well as being able to export data. And what I'm going to be doing is exporting the prediction from the Azure Sphere device all the way through IoT Central through a logic app workflow um, and then ultimately to Microsoft Teams for collaboration and, and notification. Okay, so for the demo. So on uh, my desktop here, I've got an Azure Sphere device and it's the Avnet board and it's got a built-in um, uh, micro, sorry, a um, accelerometer. And on the left-hand side of my screen, I've got um, an output from the real-time core, which is running the tiny ML model. And what you're seeing here is the current prediction. So at the moment, the, the device is not moving. So the model uh, for the inference is saying, well, no, there's nothing happened. This is running normal operation. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is gonna pick up the device and I'm gonna shake the device a little bit side to side. And you can see this is what I defined for, for when I trained the model. Uh, the side to side uh, would be uh, labeled rattle. So there is um, the HVAC in this case is rattling. Okay, so another gesture that I defined was, hopefully I can get it to come up, was for bearings. So this is one, one I had defined for the bearings in the motor in an HVAC system. And the, in that case, uh, they were faulty and you can see it's showing up bearings. And you'll see, because I put the board back down, it's gone back to normal operation again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through a couple of apps, not in a huge amount of detail. So this first application here is the real-time core application, which is running on the Cortex-M4, and it is responsible for running the classifier. 
So what it's doing, it's um, reading the data from the accelerometer, so the X, Y, Z coordinates, and then running that, that data through a model. And then ultimately what it's going to do is going to send that prediction through uh, to the high-level application, which is then going to forward that or relay that on to IoT Central. Okay, so on the, the other app that's running on the Azure Sphere is the high-level application, which is effectively going to listen out for messages from the real-time core application, which is running the tiny ML model, and it's going to relay those, those that prediction to IoT Central. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint in the, uh, the code, and I'm going to pick up the Azure Sphere and then wiggle it side to side, and you'll see I get a rattle. If you look on the left-hand side, you'll see it's generated a rattle. And in fact, if I scroll down here for device output, the last prediction was indeed rattle. So what I'm going to do now is I'll step through the code, F10, and I'm going to update a, a device twin property in IoT Central. And press F5 to run that. And then you'll see the breakpoint's been hit again. That's because I've got a break. Uh, another message has come through because the predictor fault for the, um, the device is now normal. And in fact, I don't send that message to um, IoT Central. I only send things that are faulty. Alrighty, so that's what's kind of going on the device. So I've got this real-time application, which is doing the uh, inference, uh, doing the predictions, and it's passing the prediction to the high-level core, and that application and then is then relaying that message or that prediction to IoT Central. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is IoT Central. And we'll come across here. So I'm going to choose uh, what's called a template. And this one here, I'm interested in the predictive maintenance tem template. So any device that's in the predictive maintenance. And the device I've got registered, there's only one in there, um, is the device that's on my desk, which is running this um, fake HVAC system. And the device is called HVAC system and it's in the mayor's office um, for random reasons. And you can see this device has some metadata associated with it. So it's got a contact name, which is me, contact number, device location, and the device description. It's Contoso and it's an HVAC Model B. Now, looking over here in the HVAC state, you'll see that the, um, the fault prediction is rattle. So that's kind of what the, the last known state, or the last known um, error state for this device, for this HVAC was rattle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this data um, through to a logic app. So I'm going to go look at my destinations, and I've got a destination already set up here called Predictive Maintenance Logic App, which is going to run my workflow. And what I've set up in a logic app, I've set up a webhook, and that's the URL for the webhook. So what's going to happen when a prediction comes through from the device, gets to IoT Central, um, this webhook is going to be called with the latest prediction. So go back to my destination, go to exports, and then this is my export for predictive maintenance. And then what this predictive maintenance export is, sorry, what this export is going to do, it's going to export all telemetry or all properties in this case uh, for the device template predictive maintenance. And if I scroll down a bit further, you can see I've added in some additional properties for contact name, number, description, location, device name, and fault prediction. And then ultimately, the destination for this is going to be the logic app, that destination which I just showed you, which is predictive maintenance logic app. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go across to my um, logic app. So it's my Azure, uh, Azure logic app, and this is my workflow. And I've got two operations in here. So the first operation is the HTTP webhook. And it will just listen out for um, requests that come in from IoT Central. And IoT Central will bundle uh, the, the data packet um, on that webhook. And it will hit that operation. And then what that operation does is it passes that message on to the Microsoft Teams operation. And if I go into the Teams operation, you can see that uh, I'm going to post it into channel. Uh, the channel is classified demo, which is what I called the channel, and it's going to go into general. And you can see that I've created a template. Uh, this is a template message. In this case here, it's the HVAC maintenance. And you can see I'm passing in the variables or the data that was sent, um, that has been bundled up and sent from IoT Central over that webhook. So I've got the fault prediction, 
device name, description, contact name, number, etc. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'll just close it up, is I'm going to go over to the right hand side. So you'll see on the right hand side, I've got Microsoft Teams running. And you can see the last message here was 6.58 p.m. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up the Azure Sphere device on my desk and I'm just going to shake it side to side to generate the rattle. Hopefully that's enough. Put it down. And you'll see that that's now generated a message which came through at 7.02, which as you can see down there is 7.02. I'll do see more. And you'll see that there goes my message. So I've got my HVAC maintenance alert. Um, the, the fault prediction was a rattle. And you can see that this is the device name. And this is the information here for the engineer. And this is the contact name and the location for the, for the HVAC unit. So you can kind of see what's going on there. So I've got this tiny ML model that's running on the Azure Sphere. Remember that's running on the real-time core. It's relaying that prediction across to the high-level core, which is then updating a property in IT Central. IT Central is that displaying that information. So if I pop over to IT Central, so you can see in my devices, in predictive, there goes my device. So I can see that in IT Central. Then you remember I exported that data. To, to my Logic app, and then ultimately that information appeared out in Microsoft Teams. So hopefully you kind of get a bit of an idea of how this is all flowing. Okay, so just one more slide. So this is just the resources. So do check out Edge Impulse. They have a free uh, developer offering um, as well as an enterprise offering. Uh, so at edgeimpulse.com, um, all the source code, and there's a wiki for this um, Azure Sphere classification for predictive maintenance. All the code is sitting up there on my GitHub. Um, there's a couple of other scenarios which I thought might be interesting. There is a nice workplace safety scenario, which is using face detect on the device and then using face uh, the face API in Azure for the cognitive services to identify who the person is. Um, so quite useful for things like workplace safety. And the last one is just a, a demo, which I just love. Uh, it's called the artificial nose. And in this case here, it's using a, a gas sensor. And you could use this to detect um, hazardous fumes in a workplace environment. So in, in, so kind of put this under industrial safety. So again, a really neat solution uh, that can be easily ported across into Azure Sphere. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much.